We'll get started with Pete Sweeney first. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Tyron, congrats on the win. Uh, what can you say about this two-game stretch that Dan Sorensen has had? First, the uh, interception last week, and, and then now the big fumble, and, and just how far he's come since you've been here. I, I, I try to tell people last, last year, you know, um, the guy's just so committed, man. Each and every day he's finding a way to, you know, take the coaching and apply it. You know, not everybody can do that and then play at a, play at a fast level. Um, you know, he's communicating at a high level. He's making big time plays for us, um, game changing plays, momentum, you know, swinging plays. And uh, we expect that from him. You know, he puts in a lot of work throughout the weekend. Uh, I know I believe in him. <clears throat> Go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Tyron. I wanted to ask you about the idea of watching Patrick now in year two as a teammate. He's halfway through the season. He's only had one turnover. Just what impresses you most watching Patrick? <laughs> That's funny because I was talking to uh, I was talking to C. Ward before the game. And you know how they show the stats on a, on a jumbotron. I was like one interception. Like I wouldn't want to play against that guy. You know that guy doesn't turn the ball over. He takes care of the football. Um, you know, he knows how to play the quarterback position. You know, he knows how to make everybody, you know, seem like they're involved in the game plan. And, um, you know, I'm glad I'm glad he's on my team. Go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron. Um, you, you're always animated on the field during games, but it felt like you were a little more amped up maybe than normal today. Did you feel like the guy – did I read that wrong? Or did you feel like maybe the guys needed a little juice going into this particular game today? Well, you know, it's November, you know, it's December football, you know, January football. Um, you know, I think at this point in the season, we are who we are, you know, as a team. And, you know, so it's all about playing with swagger. It's all about playing with emotions, controlled emotion, um, you know, and just going out there playing hard as you can for your brothers. But um, November, December football, I mean, that that's the only way you punch a ticket, you know, to play in the postseason. So we got to play our best. You know, we got to feel our best. Um, we got to bring everybody to that level. Go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Tyron. Um, you're always talking about how this defense needs to finish. You really emphasize that. You guys allowed like two first downs in the second half, even though you had a big lead, kept bringing that intensity. How proud were you of your group today for doing that? Oh, yeah. I think all of us were committed. All, all of us were focused throughout the whole game, throughout the course of the game. I think Coach Spags do a great job, too, of just staying on top of us, reminding us, you know, even after big plays, um, you know, so this game isn't over. You know, we got a whole nother half to play. It's, it's a lot of football left. So I thought our guys took it seriously um, the, the whole way through. Um, and that's what you want. You never want to stoop down to the level of any opponent uh, if you feel like you're a better team. So uh, I'm proud of my guys. Um, but it's a lot we could clean up, you know, from that first half. Go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Um, hey, Tyron. Um, my question is a little bit along those lines. I mean, uh, the coaches have talked a lot this year about complacency. Uh, I know you're basically like an extension of them um, to the players. I'm just wondering what your messaging is along those lines. And, and specifically, how, how did you guys get better today, um, you know, considering the opponent? Well, you know, I, like I told the team, you know, it's all about us. It's all about our standard. It's about the way we live, the way we practice, you know, what we're capable of doing. Um, so obviously you, you put a lot of emphasis into the teams you're playing, but at the end of the day, it's all about us, you know, whether we are going to show up with the right kind of attitude and, um, you know, that's, that, that's been the message as of late, you know, just showing up with the right kind of attitude, you know, uh, because we do put in some great work throughout the week, just believing in that process. And like I said, showing up with, a, with an attitude. We've got time for two more guys with we'll Harold and then Mitchell. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, Tyron, first things first, Jack, our janitor says congratulations on the win. <laughs> second off, uh, the takeaways. You finally got that takeaway in the second half, kind of leading into what others have talked about, the momentum going forward in the second half. Uh, just all what it meant to get that takeaway, to see uh, Sorensen get that, and just trying to keep that momentum going forward now as you go to the second half of the season. How do you kind of take something that you get from this game, that second half play, going forward? Well, you know, Coach Spags, you know, showed a clip last night of Kobe Bryant. And, you know, obviously Kobe Bryant is a well-accomplished player. And, but all Kobe Bryant talked about was getting better, you know, at something. You know, so I think that's really the mindset for us as a defense um, is to really pick apart the film, you know, find what it is we can get better at, um, and then continue to move forward. Um, you know, you mentioned Dan. You know, he's been stepping up big for us, playing some big-time football. Um, and, you know, we expect that. And we expect Dan to, you know, up the level of everybody around him as well. So I feel like he's one of those guys. We'll go last to Mitchell Summers. Go ahead, Mitchell. 
Hey, Tyron, I'm sure you saw that after that last touchdown throw that Pat Mahomes carried off Tyreek Hill. So kind of speaking larger, what does it mean to see the way the team loves being around each other and celebrating? I mean, you know, you don't always have that in the NFL. You know, a lot of guys come to work and go their separate ways. Um, I feel like this is a different locker room. You know, I feel like we're really bonded. Um, we really enjoy each other's company. Um, and we love to compete with each other and against each other. You know, we always try to find ways to make each other better. But at the end of the day, it's all about the team. It's all about embracing each other, um, you know, committing to those relationships and, you know, hoping that those kind of things pay off on the field. And um, so I think anytime you have a, our quarterback, you know, who's kind of leading the charge, you know, embracing everybody around him, um, it makes it easy for everybody else to kind of follow that suit. Tyron, we appreciate you. Thanks for the time. Thank you.